guys welcome back to my channel my name is Cheyenne for those of you who are new welcome I am a stay-at-home mom of four I have a 13 year old 11 year old six year old and seven and a half month old um, so today's video is going to be a cook with me um, this is one of my favorite meals my son's also I just feel like it's totally worth it when you have like a really either a bad day it's very comforting or if it's a gloomy cloudy soup weather day and on this day it absolutely was it was 50 degrees out believe it or not in June so we were like what's going on but we made this specifically this was just me and my son's dinner um, nobody else actually ate it not that nobody else likes it they just weren't in the mood for it so that's understandable so without further ado we're just gonna go ahead and get started and let me know in the comments below if you guys make this type of meal, make soup, um, if you make chicken and dumplings, how do you make your chicken and dumpling soup? I'd love to hear from you. So as you see here, we just put the chicken in the pot, filled it up. We filled it up so it wasn't covering the chicken, um, but just so just a little bit of the chicken was hanging out. And my son Kyle is adding in salt and fresh cracked pepper, just a little bit. It doesn't need to be crazy because I know I'll add some more in later. So <laughs> he did turn it on to medium high heat. Um, and now it looks like that the chicken actually had been boiling for quite a while. So my son's just gonna go ahead and peel a large potato and chop that up. He's going to cube it. And then we'll go ahead and add in some carrots and go from there. Don't worry, you guys, he did not chop his finger off. <laughs> so that made me happy. Every time he chops potatoes, it kind of freaks me out a little bit. I'm worried he's going to make a mistake, but I just kind of let him do his thing, you know, and tell him don't chop off a finger. Be very careful what you're doing. Pay attention. So he did not chop off a finger, everybody. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know. He's just he's a teenager and he wants to cook and that is great that is his passion I'm happy he does help out around the house cooking at night so that does make me happy and it's a huge help for me so we did cut up those potatoes we're about to take the chicken out that does need to cool down and then we're gonna go ahead and shred it take off all the fat take off all the skin all the bones add in our carrots I did let the carrots cook for about 10 minutes before I added in the potatoes just so you know, that's completely your call. Um, I did add in about a cup or so of chicken broth and was like, okay, that's about, that's pretty good. Um, and then a cup and then a cup and a half of water as well, just to like, you know, make it more brothy. I like my soup brothy completely your choice. I probably added in more chicken broth than water. So at this point, the carrots have been cooking. We're just going to add in our potatoes, and then I'll be shredding up that yummy, delicious chicken. <music>
yes you did see that correctly there was a princess or unicorn plate in my video and that's because I dispersed the chicken amongst the children so for those that didn't want soup they wanted chicken so I did give my son two of the wings he loves the wings um, and I think I gave him a leg I gave my daughter a thigh she demolished it so there's just certain things I won't put in my soup I mostly stick to the white meat, um, there probably will be a little bit of a thigh in there, but um, the wings I definitely do not put in just because they have little bones, and you have to be really careful. So that's what I did. I, di I didn't waste. I used anything that I'm putting to the right of me. It's just fat or bone. So, um, yep, see, princess plate, right on time. <laughs> so that's what I did with the chicken. Let me know if you guys do the same or if you guys like skin. Um in your chicken and dumplings or just your chicken soup. This is totally off subject. I just have to ask, how many cups of coffee do you moms or dads or whoever's watching my video drink per day to keep functioning? I've been up since 6.30 my time. That's mountain time. It is 7.05 p.m. here. I'm exhausted. I've already had dinner. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm going to go get some coffee. So let me know in the comments below how many cups of coffee you guys drink. I personally drink three, and that's what keeps me going throughout the day. So let me know. I want to hear from you. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make our dumplings. We use the Bisquick recipe. This recipe actually calls for two cups Bisquick and two-thirds cup milk. And then you boil them uncovered for 10 minutes and then boil them covered for 10 minutes. But in this case, we accidentally forgot to level off our Bisquick. So we actually had to add in more milk than normal. So total, it was probably about a cup, maybe a slight bit more. But just do it in, to your consistency that you like your dumplings um <laughs> funny story sometimes I actually have to ask my husband does this look good <laughs> like will these dumplings come out good <laughs> he's like a dumpling master me not so much but you know they came out great so now we're gonna go ahead and put our dumplings in while my son was mixing that I did go ahead and add in a half a tablespoon of garlic powder stirred it up added in more salt and pepper um you will probably even add in more salt and pepper after it's done. It's just however you like your soup to taste.
is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, please consider subscribing to my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. I am trying to get videos out one to two times per week, and my set days right now are Wednesdays and Fridays. There may be a video pop up sometime on another day, but I'm not 100% sure yet. But if you do hit the notification bell, then you'll definitely be notified if that happens. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys try this recipe or not. And I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for watching.